Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's What's Up Wednesday. Today, I'm joined by Shannon Hall. She's the Director of Workforce Supports with the Early Childhood Council Leadership Academy. Today, she's going to be going over the Family Child Care Home Improvement Grant opportunity for our industry. So hi, Shannon. Welcome and thanks for joining today. Hi, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So kick us off today just briefly explaining your role with ECCLA, ECLA. We always have acronyms around here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Early childhood school of acronyms. Right. Um, so I'm the director of workforce supports. So I administer the Family Child Care Home Improvement Grant, the TEACH scholarship, and um, oversee a couple of our other um, scholarship and grant programs like Back to Work um, and our Rural Run Grant and soon to be concurrent enrollment scholarship. Awesome. Yeah. Jack of all trades. I hear you. <laughs> so speaking of the grant, what is that Family Child Care Home Improvement Grant that we're talking about today? Um, so the Family Child Care Home Improvement Grant was um, created by the Buell Foundation as a way to address the declining um, numbers of family child care providers across the state. Um, it's declined pretty steadily over the last sure. 10 years. Um, and a lot of it is due to them not being able to keep up with the financial aspects of running a home child care, um, including things like making updates to your building for licensing or for fire codes, um, being able to even start a new program because of all of the changes you need to make yeah. to your program and to your home. So this grant was created um, to address those needs and help family child care providers um, continue their programs or to open new programs. Uh, and as it's, we've, we're in our third year, second year, um, hopefully starting our third year. And then Daniel's actually um, became a key contributor as well during the nice. second year. Um, so they really wanted to do what they could to help out. Um, and one of the nice aspects of it is just really giving the support that is needed in that community. Um, you know, for instance, with the devastating uh, Marshall fire that happened in January, we were yep. able to utilize some of that funding to help those providers get their programs back open um, and recoup any losses. Awesome. So if anyone is unfamiliar with this or this may be the first time they're hearing about it, how does one apply if they're interested in doing so? So the application is online um, and you can go to... Um, HTTPS. Uh, <laughs> it's hard because it's just, you can't just like go. Yeah. Um, and it's not a www. So oh, um, gotcha. HTTPS um, colon two backslashes and then awards.eclacolorado.org. Um, and it brings you to a platform where you can go in, answer the questions, upload all of the documents that you need to have. Um, you can visit our website and it'll take you straight to that link as well. Okay, perfect. And I'll include that in the description or comments of wherever you may be watching this. So, okay, awesome. So how long is this available for people to apply for if they're interested in doing so? Um, so our current round, we just opened at the end of July. So it will close um, September 6th um, okay. at midnight, 11.59 p.m. Um, and then hopefully another round will open at the beginning of next year. So we run about two rounds a year, depending oh, on perfect. funding. Okay, kind of catch several people that way also. Yeah, yeah. For anyone that does have questions or wants to learn more, kind of where can they go or who can they reach out to if they're wanting to learn more about this? Uh, they can reach out to me directly. Um, I'm the one that kind of I'm like a one woman show for the grant. So <laughs> I hear you. I'm the one that'll help with education, um, any technical issues they're having okay. uh, and different things like that. Any questions they may have on what the grant covers, um, they'll reach out to me directly. And like I said, you can go to the website. Um, okay. We have a frequently asked question sheet on our website, um, as well as, you know, past recipients uh, and just anything, you know, any other information you would want to know about it. Awesome. OK, well, I appreciate it. We're always excited to kind of have different resources and opportunities like this on here. So the more the merrier, whoever we can get this to reach out to, the better. So I'll open it up if you want to share any final thoughts, updates or feedback regarding this great opportunity in general or with ECLA. Um. I mean, I think that, you know, we really want to make this statewide access. So yeah. really reaching out to those rural communities um, that have licensed uh, family child care programs um, and being able to assist them where we can. Uh, you can get other grants as well as this one. So if you're applying for state funding, you can still get this grant to kind of help um, offset yes. some offset of those that. costs. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the maximum amount you can ask for with the family child care grant ECLA is $5,000. Okay. Uh, so sometimes it is you know, it is needed to reach out to additional funders to complete sure. a project or open up, uh, open a home. So we do allow multiple funding streams for people to apply for. 
Okay, perfect. All right. Well, thank you for offering those websites and yourself for any assistance and help that people would need. So we're hoping to get some more people involved in this and hopefully kind of wrap that around and make sure that they're aware of that. All right. Thank you so much, Shannon. That's all I have for you today. Just kind of short and sweet, short and sweet. <laughs> like to make it quick. Thank you, Shannon. We appreciate your thank time. You. Have a good one, everyone. Bye. Bye.